Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to The Sims 2, the Gallery Uglacy. Wanda's off at work for another 20 minutes, right? Yeah, just, just 20 minutes. It's fine, it's fine. And uh, I realize that uh, we only have six people in this house. So there is definitely room for another child. What is that sound? Oh my gosh, what was going on there? I'm not a fan of whatever it was. Um, but yeah, Chandler, wake up, because I'm gonna have you and Wanda, you know, get together a little bit. Just relax, and I'm curious, is, are my mods still working? I'm not really certain. It said I had some collisions between mods. But it's difficult to tell sometimes. Oh, I forgot to move all the galleries in. Hmm. I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break to do that, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Yeah, go bird watching. Who are you again? Oh, this is Curtis. I should have known this was Curtis. Oh, gosh, it would not just... There's no free real estate option in this game, apparently. Who decided that that was a good idea? I just want to be able to give my family the house that they all deserve, which is... Uh, I, was, I have had four of the same dynasty houses, but it's just... I don't know. It just decided that that's too easy in this game and that... I need to throw them onto an empty lot, because that's what they can afford. And I'm like, hmm, that sounds dumb. Yes, combine. Okay, great. Are you a... Which, I don't remember who you are, but I'll combine you. Okay, Matilda definitely needs to go in there, so that should be four. So we, then we can do like five, six. Uh, do we have... We do have a seven, eight. We got some old timers up in here. And then who are we missing? We're missing these two. Oh no, that's Gavigan, sorry. So it's really just this one. And I can't do that, there's too many there. Um, th I don't remember who that was, honestly. So it's, it's probably not a terribly important concern. Uh, yeah, look at Gallery, man. I forgot how great this town was. But let's actually head back to, you know, the family where we were playing. That sounds like a pretty gosh darn good idea right there. But now we can call Matilda over tomorrow. And as weird as things may be getting, eh, whatever. Can't get any much weirder, right? R wrong. We can only find out what will happen. Okay, Wanda, get on the bed. And then you guys, yeah, why don't you guys go... Just try for a baby right quick right there. Keep that up. I don't need to see a cutscene. Thank you for not showing me one. You guys can go to bed right after that. Uh, what are you up to? Oh boy, howdy. That sound. So exciting. It means nothing's gonna go wrong, probably. Except probably everything's gonna go wrong, if I had to guess. Because we're gonna have babies in the house again. Oh boy. Ooh, our pool is steamy. It's so cool. I don't know why this excites me so much, but it really does. Like with the moon on the reflection. Oh, that's just a beautiful shot right there. Perfect. Good framing. 10 out of 10. I'm like, oh, I thank you. Okay, Rebecca, if that is your real name. I'm just going to clean that up so that you can't have it. Haha. <laughs> Suck it, Karina. Oh, okay, that's him whistling. I thought that was the, the baby jingle again. I was like, uh, what did I do to deserve this one? I didn't want another baby. Oh, good morning, Keiko. How are you? I see our fun is going up. That might still be remnants from the uh, violin, honestly. It's also nice that they don't have homework just because um, they didn't have school. Whoops, no, don't turn it off. Don't, don't turn it off. Why can't you change the channel? Did you decide to watch a movie? Why would you do that? Don't do that. That's stupid. Movies are lame because I, I swear they don't give you as much um, fun. But yeah, you can see Matilda now lives at Gallery 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's good for her. No, do not invite over the entire household. Just, just Matilda will be fine, okay? Just Matilda's probably already enough trouble. I probably moved her out for a reason. 
Who knows? Let's go greet her. You gonna give her the little kiss kiss greeting? Nope. Ooh, she gets a hug. Okay, well, I mean, a hug is something. Why don't you, can you give her a romantic? Okay, so, so I don't know what you did, but whatever you did, it did not work too well. Can you try hitting on her? Okay, like she, she's accepting of that. Sweet talk? Suggestion? Did you just try to hold her hands or something? Cause that, that one may not have worked. I don't think... Oh yeah, he was excited. He's like, oh, really? You want me to hug her? Like, yeah, that's what I said. Try again. Okay. Hand holding's working now. I'm not really sure what was going on. Who knows? Ooh, leap into arms. Do you think this is gonna fail? Nope. Aw, oh, man. Kind of hoping it would fail, not gonna lie. Okay, well you guys, can you guys just like do your thing, please? And then also, when when we're done with this thing, I would like it if the matchmaker would not give me extended family. That would be great, all right? That's just, that's really all I ask for. Okay. Oh, you're still in your pajamas? That is not how you woo a lady right there. No! No! Matilda, are you for real right now? It is 10 a.m. Why are you leaving? Can't have this. Cannot have this. Go call her and invite her back over. Let's not be creepy or stalkerish at all. Oh, look. Look. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. <laughs> yes, you will be. Because you cannot leave. Ever. I won't let you. You're going to st Oh, look at that. That That is a greeting right there. <laughs> He's just like, what in the heck is this guy doing? Does he not know how to kiss? No. No, he does not. You will notice that he is quite a bit younger than her. She's got to be like mid-30s. He's 18, of course. I said that. He's 18, and don't you ever forget it, because otherwise uh, everything would be weird. I'm not trying to make it weird. I'm just trying to give myself something to do while we're waiting for them to get married. Give her a squeeze, goose, caress, just go for it. Just go for everything right there. Pedro is apparently sick with the flu. I think he literally just got it from Matilda. And that sounds like a real problem right there. Okay, where are we at? 58? We're only at 58? You guys gotta get better at the kissing then. Should be easily at like 90. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I hear some hearts flying around. No, don't cough, you're ruining everything. Okay, great, 71 sounds good to me. You can go relax, just relax. And before she hurts herself, ask Matilda to join also. Who's this, Jill Fleeg? You should stay. You should stay, Jill Fleeg. Let's go greet Jill Fleeg. Why not, really? Who knows where we're gonna go next? We might not even need the matchmaker, honestly. They don't have, like, any attraction with each other, it seems. Like, I just want to point that out. We paid $5,000 for Matilda. That sounds really bad, but... But, I mean, you get what I'm saying. And they don't have, like, any attraction. Is he just, like, unsatiable with his turn-ons and turn-offs? Is they're just like, yep, there's no girl out there for you. Like, oh, did not realize that. Oof, that acne, though. This poor guy needs to use some acne medicine. All right. All right, chop, chop, Matilda. You gotta, you gotta go, all right? You gotta shoo you. And then we gotta say goodbye to just Matilda. Just Matilda. Hey, it was good. Okay, don't don't do that. Like that's pretty rude. Oh, you got her out of the room. Okay, is Jill Fleeg here? That's Keiko. Keiko is not the same as Jill Fleeg, believe it or not. Um, she might have not gotten stopped. Darn shame, right there. I guess we gotta go blow another five thousand dollar ruskies. Ah, oh, well, we'll survive. I did not mean to call a sim. You know what? Because I made a mistake, go serve us some mac and cheese for dinner. You get the honor of doing that. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, look at that. And he didn't burn the house down. I am so very proud of you. You don't even know, but he's got the flu, so he's like, yep, bathroom time. Okay. You can also take a shower. You know, maybe it's not matchmaker time for you. Maybe after school tomorrow, because you're not in a great mood, and it's already like 7 p.m., so 
not a lot you can really do right there. So just go change it to, I don't know, Sim Station Dance is what the kids listen to, right? Oh, uh, you gotta, no, 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 hold up, buddy. You gotta go to the bathroom again, okay? And then you can go sleep in your pajamas. Thank you for listening to me. I know what's best for a sick person. I've been sick once or twice in my life. Okay, uh, Wanda, you're back. Yeah, you can go and just go straight to bed. Why not? You are pregnant now. We do need to be wary-ish. Come on, game. How you doing? 14 days. Why does it seem like you've been at 14 days for a while? Like, is my aging not working? What about you, Keiko? You're the only one who seems to have a working age bar. Oh my gosh, is my aging, like, seriously not working? So that would be really embarrassing if installing this mod just like ruined everything. I don't want credits. This is where it would be, right? Aging, probably, but I don't know where it is. Huh, um, what's this? Click to view unlocked assets and generate Sims gift codes to share our, no, no. I just want, I just want things to not be broken. Is that too much to ask? Like, I'm a little worried that that's asking far too much. I'm like, mm, it really shouldn't be. Okay, well, I mean, that's at least working. We have a pregnancy going on. So this will get us up to seven. If, if we'll need to keep our eye on this, gosh, I might need to uninstall these mods if they're going to ruin my game like that. That would be super embarrassing if it's just like, oh yeah, by the way, you're not aging anymore. And I'd be like, what? But I spent two episodes with these. Yeah, well, yeah tough. <laughs> Now you get to not spend two episodes. Hey, Karina, if that's not fun, and you're not having fun, don't do it. All you're gonna do is complain about more fun. You know what, you still gotta sleep anyways. I don't know what you're doing awake, thinking you can power through school waking up at 2 a.m. Actually, like all of you guys did that. I really don't know why it seems like it's, oh, you went back to sleep. What about you, Keiko? Yeah, Keiko, you should probably get some, get a little bit more sleep right there, okay? You are good, 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 good. Everyone wake up for school, including you. Okay, sorry, Keiko, I know. I I, I drill you the, the, the hardest. I'm like just a tyrant of a parent with you, Keiko, making you get up for school. Struggle must be real. Chandler, how's this warm-up bar treating you? Are you totally pumped for your new child? Do you even notice that you're going to have a new child? That's the real question right there. Okay, you got your body skill point. I don't really know why you were going for that, but I'll allow you to do it. Just stop and then go shower, okay? Then look at that. We've got either cereal or mac and cheese or both right here. How pumped are you for that? I know, that's my favorite meal too. How did you know? Was that the pizza delivery girl? Pretty sure that was the pizza delivery girl. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Okay, man, man, he is just amazing at violin. He's just like, whatever, yeah, let me just glow while I'm playing. Okay, you guys are back. Did you guys bring home any friends? Uh, yeah, Keiko, oh, oh no, that's Opal, okay. I was like, oh gosh, Elizabeth's here, so we can't hit on that friend, because, you know, that wouldn't work too well. Okay. You guys, uh, you guys talking right there? How about you flirt with her a little bit? You know, just make sure that she knows why you invited her over, and then be sure to check her out. Okay, are you having a good time? I mean, you're really not, so SimStation Sports. Keiko's the real sports fanatic here, I guess. Uh, okay, $200 for a spelling bee. Seems outrageous to me, but whatever. Sims pays out ridiculous amounts of money for smaller things. Yeah, how about you don't do a chest pound? How about you just flirt instead? I said stop with whatever you were doing. I want you guys to try and, you know, get together. Did you even check her out? He's just like, yep, she's fine. She'll do. Okay, that's not a very nice way to talk to her. But, I mean, it's better than you not liking her at all. Entertain her with a joke. Why not? 
and then offer a suggestion. I still really have no idea what suggestion is actually entailing. I just don't understand a lot of these things, but also I think the wording's not exactly amazing. Flirt, sweet talk. Okay, we got some crushing going on. Kale's just like, not again. Master Gallery, why? Okay, oh yeah, we got some romantic hugging going on. And some kisses. Everything's going great. Oh, I think she just had her first kiss. Congratulations, Opal. You have never gotten with anyone in my family for all the years that you have been coming over until now. All right. Karina, what are you up to? Not too much. Sounds like you can be doing homework, all right. Pedro is the only one with an excuse here because I'm telling him to do other things because I just... If we could get to four, I think we'd be doing pretty gosh darn well right there. Can you caress her? I always thought... Oh, she did not want the caress. She did not want the caress. That's okay. We'll make it up with arm kisses. It's very, it's very far better, far better this way. You guys will be best friends shortly, I'm very sure. It does not take a lot when everything you do gains you long-term uh, relationships. There you go. Okay, so he's back in the gold. We're good right there. Uh, I don't think she wanted to be made out with, though. Sorry, buddy. Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, she didn't like that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, we should learn not to do caresses. Okay, let's go have you use the restroom. Then, yeah, go eat a burger. Look, she's eating a burger, too, so she'll be in a better mood right now. That's the strategy right there. I don't know who you... Oh, you probably met Juan. I forgot about Juan. I was like, how did you just meet someone new? That seems extremely difficult in a house with your family. Blow her a kiss. That's adorable. Actually, maybe don't blow her a kiss. That's extremely frightening. Oh, that is... Yeah, that is not so good. So what is it? Yeah, you still have 15 days. And you still have 11 days. What do I do? Uh, uh, Sims 2, in team, no aging. Search that, let's see, is, is Sims not aging? Okay, uh-huh. Did you try spawning their biological clocks? Have junk DNA or spawning the clock can often, I don't know what that, okay, so I'm assuming that's, I do more in teen, my biological clock. Do I... Put that away? I don't know if that does any... It seems like it's already spawned. Let's see. Did you try removing your hacks folder to see if they age normally? Um, oh gosh, it's... Uh, pulling out the bio clocks did indeed work. Okay, so do I just need to like keep those around? Because that seems, like, real annoying. Really, really annoying. It's like, let's see. I just need, like, a room. Oh, perfect. We have a room for these. I should have known. Okay. Does it... I don't know if it tells me, like, whose is whose, though. I'm going to be real annoyed if this is what I need to do. My biological clock. Does it... So what happens if you click on a different one? You cannot so you do actually need your own clock object i'm i'm not too happy with this but we'll 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 see if this works i will give it a chance spawn your biological clock um whoops i don't know what i had you do it's probably not important spawn your biological clock and do, do you need to? Because, I mean, you're a child. Yeah, of course you do. You're a child, but that doesn't matter at all. Okay, let's go throw these all in this room of a thousand clocks. Man, when these things all go off, that is just going to be a very loud room. I feel sorry for the Grim Reaper if we ever need to call him. Okay, that's the five people I care about in this family. We'll see what that does. Really, if I can just get them aging, that's the dream. Okay, excuse me. I'm trying to make out with Opal here. 
I think she'll accept it this time. Yep, she did. Okay, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Robbie just coming over and ruining everything, though. He's like, doesn't matter. Made out. <laughs> like, all right. It's a good way to think about it right there. Okay, go and do that. Can just make out. Keep going with that. Come on, guys. You guys gotta go a little faster than this. She's gonna leave soon, maybe. Well, she's in love with you, so if you could reciprocate, that'd be great. Are you almost there? Robbie has died on another lot. What? He will return in spirit to the place of death. Robbie? What happened? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I feel like my game might be a little bit messed up, but that's fine. That's fine. Who's that? Chenandler? Yeah, Chenandler. I'm gonna need you to vacate that bed and maybe go, you know, sleep with your wife. That sounds like a grand old idea right there. Let's get going. You can go relax. Just don't leave, Opal. Don't leave because we need to ask Opal to join. There we go, don't leave just yet, don't leave just yet, don't leave just yet. We can woohoo, okay? This is perfect, this is exactly what you need. How many times are we gonna need to see this? We're gonna need to see this 20 times. I mean, I guess it tells me if I've already slept with that person before. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, I don't know, a good way of keeping track of that, maybe. Like, this is number four, so we're a fifth of the way done. Not too shabby. It's going a lot faster than 50 dream dates. Good golly, that was far too many dream dates. All right, you guys can just sleep. Like, sure, go for it. Because um, you're probably going to need to sleep until school. Okay, Karina, is there any particular reason that you did not you know, eat, actually, wait, we got lobster right here? Yeah, eat some lobster. Look at how much that does for you. It doesn't even matter that it's terrible lobster. So I wonder if Opal, I mean, I know she's not going to, because that's not how the game works, but I was like, I wonder if Opal's gonna go to school tomorrow, because it'd just be like, uh, Opal, you know, you're not supposed to be in our house overnight, so you still got 15 days. You still got, yeah, okay. So I'm going to hope that everything turns out fine by the end of this day, otherwise I'm going to be real annoyed and need to uninstall these mods and then just slow down on the whole uh, Pedro bit. But we'll see if the biological clocks work. I really hope they do, but then again I also kind of hope... I, why can't I age them without it? Like, why is, why is this... What, uh, who decided that? It's like, yeah, you know what you should do? Stop Sims from aging unless you have this item spawned. Okay. Uh, you want to get into private school, get an A-plus report card? I mean, you, you could do that, but that sounds pretty boring. You already have an A-plus report card. Oh, gosh. Um, Karina did not finish her homework, but she's also sleeping. This is probably for the best but she needs to go to school now. So, tough. It's tough to be you, I know. But you're gonna need to deal. There's no one's really in a good mood going to school right now. It's just the way it works, I suppose. Yeah, Opal's here just like watching like, hmm. Yes, Mrs. Uh, Gallery, what are you doing? She's like, well, what does it look like I'm doing? Obviously. I'm doing warm-ups, just because, I suppose. <laughs> I don't really know why Opal's just standing there. I'm assuming she does want to talk to Wanda, but Wanda's just like, mm -mm, it, if, if I ignore her, I do not need to pretend that this, uh, uh, that this girl spent the night with my Pedro. It's like, yeah, great act of denial right there. That is how you do it. Okay, you need to use the bathroom take a shower. All in all, you're just pretty miserable. So I'm gonna have you sleep. Hopefully Kale's gonna cook for us, right? And thankfully you have the day off. Granted, I'm pretty sure that's because you're pregnant, so it all works out in the end, but that's fine. Pedro brought home Juan Harris. Should have known. 
should have known. Okay, well, Pedro, today is a catch-up-on-homework kind of day. You can, you can hang out... Wow, you can't change it, really? You can hang out with Juan later if you need to. Like, look at how slow that is! And I can't have him change it. Like, why would you watch a movie that's not nearly as fun as a different movie? That just seems silly to me. But what would I know? I try to do things to have fun, and Pedro's just over here like, meh. Um, no, Matilda, I don't think- there's no one named Pedro in our family, what are you talking about? Why would you talk about such absurdities? That's silly, right there. Okay, go use the restroom. Okay, like, you are going to need to get off of Karina's homework, because believe it or not, she kind of needs to work on her homework. Oh, are we going into labor now? Oh, you know it. We got another kid showing up, which means I should probably... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wanda's pregnancy has unexpectedly ended in a spontaneous miscarriage. Wanda will need extra love and affection during this difficult time. So I'm guessing I did not keep Wanda in a good enough mood. Like, maybe her hunger was too low at the end. I did also forget that I wanted to put in the flavor pack to not have that, though. Because that's not the type of game I'm trying to run right here. But that's a darn shame. Granted, their biological clocks weren't going. So maybe you can argue that things are not for the worst right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it would be worse if, like, time were actually ticking. So did things happen? You're still at 14 days? You're still at 15? No, I think I need to uninstall these mods. That's a darn shame. What a rough way to figure that out. All right. Well, guess we're just going to need to do it lay old-fashioned way, I suppose. Going to take a bath, probably for the best, but also get your pizza. Like, please, pizza, Amar, Amar. Like, I don't even care about the groceries. Someone else can get the groceries. I need the pizza, says Wanda. She just shovels a slice in her mouth. She's like, yeah, that's the stuff right there. Yeah, give me that pizza. Like, oh, now I really want pizza. Oh, well, you did not need to put your pizza slice down. You could have continued eating it. Ah, gosh. Well, now I've just wasted a couple episodes of things not happening. But we did get some woohoos out of it. Seriously, this is not the in-teen mod I remember. I just want a basic teen woohoo mod. Maybe maybe in-teen is just... Maybe I never had it for Sims 2. Maybe Sims 3 is when I started using in-teen. But I remember it just being like a lot easier to deal with. So I don't want any of this. I really just want teen woohoo but whatever i'm gonna leave this episode here we've had a learning experience that's for sure like let me just check these biological clocks again maybe there is like a turn on my aging dispose no no none of those are very helpful oh well see i'm probably gonna uninstall this mod and hope it doesn't break everything I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on The Sims 2, The Gallery Uglacy. Goodbye.